Welcome back. We have broken into Malicia's home and are looking for a device that can apparently destroy her. That she stole from King Otar. While why he had such a device, I don't know. Apparently, um, Alicia doesn't know that it is dangerous to her, however, therefore she might not have protected it, and it basically could be anywhere. So, let's look around carefully. Nice bed. like the spider thing. And a lamp, which is sort of too nice for this place, I think. What about this stuff? King Otar, what is all this stuff? <laughs> when Malicia stole the device from me, she asked me what it was. I reluctantly told her it was a machine for turning lead into gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she must have spent hours trying to figure out how it works. Good one, Your Majesty. Yes. Apparently, she thinks it's some kind of alchemy device. But it's not, in fact. But apparently, it's not there. Look at all that makeup. I wonder where she keeps the trowel. <laughs> well, I guess the dresser is the obvious choice. And that one's empty. For this time's a charm. Promising. How odd. Uh, Alicia's underwear. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are we sure we should be doing this? Wow. Old stocking. Why just one? That's it! Take it! Quickly! Why was she this keeping it in? This is the whole thing? How does it work? It must be plugged into a socket in the volcano control room in the underground, so that it may regain its power. It is useless until then. After the device is activated, it can be used to stop any living threat to Etheria. I don't know exactly what it will do. We'll find out soon enough, if we are fortunate. Convenient. But apparently it needs to be plugged in. Mysterious device. Indeed it is. It uses standard American power socket as well. I guess we'd better put the clothes back. Why was she keeping this thing in her underwear drawer? You dropped the stocking, Rosella. This looks useful, not to mention ugly. Why would that be useful? A wooden stocking. I don't know. Maybe we can make a sling out of it or something. I'm certainly not going to wear it. Well, I guess we got what we came for. So let's head on out before Malicia comes back. Because we don't want to be here when she does. Obviously. Back in the disguise, and let's get out of here before more bad news arrives. Now to the wood of the werefolk. Not entirely sure why it's called that, because wer is old English for man. So this is the wood of the man folk. Anyway, um, let's hope our silver will be able to protect us.
And it looks like we're gonna need it. It's a werebear or something. Here, take that. Uh oh. Not good enough. I still think that was a pretty good idea. If only the pellet had some more force behind it. Hmm. You should have just learned to play baseball. Or is that not a normal occupation for a princess of Daventry? Anyway, I thought we might be able to make some kind of sling with the uh, stocking, and indeed that is what we need to use it for. We can use it to propel the pellet of silver with greater force. Let's hope that will do the trick. It did! And we'd better run. Hey! He stole my cloak. That bastard! But we made it! We're on the other side. We're in the woods. And Valenise is hopefully close by, although she was under arrest last time we saw her, so let's hope she's not in any more trouble. Let's see, can we talk to, uh... No. Why not? Where's he gone? <laughs> that makes no sense. Guess he's gone for a walk. Lord Attis is missing. Now, some of you commented uh, on an earlier video that I should have uh, restored the river in Chapter 3, so Rosella wouldn't have had to deal with that. But there is no way of knowing how to do that in Chapter 3. Well, you could do it by accident, I suppose. But the actual information on how to do that is not given to us until Chapter 5. So that's why I haven't done it yet. So yeah, unfortunately, Rosella gets to see the dried up river. I guess we're gonna have to deal with that silly guy again. Rosella of Daventry, is this the town of Falderall? Oh, yes, it is, but but you can't come in here unless unless you bring me the uh, the, the levitating albino warthog of Rigatonia. <laughs> Poor guy, nobody ever takes him seriously. Fortunately, we already know how to get in here. Stop! You can't go through there. That door leads to a pit of salivating snakes. That's right, snakes. Why does it always have to be snakes? Oh, well, I'm sure I'll prefer them to your company. Oh! It's the Archduke chasing his own tail, by the looks of it. Ooh, eat another one of those pink things. Hello, Pink Thing. Welcome to Folderol. I am Archduke Fifele Yip Yap. And I am Rosella of Daventry. Rosella, your mother was here looking for you. We arrested her, but now we like her just fine. <laughs> Enjoy your stay here. Be sure to take the photo shop with a grain of salt. <laughs> okay. Mother? Here? Arrested? No! No way, it couldn't be! It could, and it was! But apparently they like her now, so I wonder what happened in the meantime. I guess we'll find out later. So, let's see, maybe we can find, um... 
Valenese, Other otherwise that's hidden entrance into the underground. Um, can we talk to Ferdinand, uh, Fernando? People want to call him Ferdinand, but that's not his name. Hello, lovely lady. I am Fernando Bullfour, proprietor of this shop. Let me know if I can help you with anything. My name is Rosella. Good sir, do you know of an entrance to the Volcanics Underground hidden somewhere in this town? No, I don't think so. Although the palace of the Archduke conceals many secrets. Palace of the Archduke, hmm? Well, I guess that might be a good place to, uh, look. I wonder if he knows anything about Valenice, though. You haven't by any chance met a lady known as Valenice? I have. A charming lady. Just charming. She was looking for her daughter. <gasps> you! Yes. Was she well? She was, Miss Rosella. But she was most desperate to find you. That's understandable, of course. If you see my mother, please tell her that I didn't mean to hurt her. I just saw this castle and it was so beautiful and Prince Throckmorton is such a... The realm of Eldritch lures her mortals here as strongly as bees to honey. She will surely understand. I certainly hope so. Come to think of it, we still don't know what the deal with that was. Why did we see that castle in that puddle, and why didn't we end up there, but rather in the Troll Kingdom? What did the fake King Otar want with us? Oh well. Rosella, we have no time to waste. Let us hurry. What a sweet little bird. Oh, most of the time. Most of the time? I don't think I've seen this much fancy stuff in the whole castle of Daventry. Yes, well, I've never seen much fancy stuff in the castle of Daventry. Most of the time it's under siege by three-headed dragons or whatever. Or being stolen by wizards. Never actually seen it in its prime. Let's see... For some reason this game doesn't like to keep the speed, so sometimes I need to adjust it. The snake oil salesman is absent, but the Mockingbird is uh, back. Hello there, little bird. Hello, you cheese-nosed ninny hammer. Hey, that wasn't very nice. I don't have to be nice. I'm a mockingbird, get it? Whoa, whoa, I hear gears turning. Don't hurt yourself now. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't want to get caught up with him again. So we'll continue in the next video.